Hey everybody, so my name is Anya and I am a paparazzi jewelry consultant. Today I wanted to talk to you about what happens if some of your paparazzi jewelry is broken, what you can do. So first of all, if you are a customer and you just placed an order, within three days of getting that order, just open it up. If something is broken, call paparazzi, they will make it right, okay? Same with consultants. When you get your orders in, check them. You have three business days from the time that you receive your orders to inventory everything, make sure you got everything that you were supposed to, and check it to see if it's broken or if pieces are missing or whatever. Um, if in that three business days, if you do find something that is broken that is not easily repaired, then um, and I'm talking to consultants now, then then you call in and you can they'll make it right with you too. Okay. Now I wanted to show you a couple examples of some pieces that were broken when I received them. So this necklace right here, um, it looks like this right now, which is kind of sort of cute, but it's supposed to be like this, and this piece is supposed to go in there. It dangles like that, okay? So you can see that this this loop right here just opened up just a teeny bit and the chain came out. Now, is this something that I need to call paparazzi about? Probably not. Um, consultants, in your kits, you get a jewelry fix-it kit, which is a little bitty pair of pliers, um, and that is what I would use to fix this. So you just open it up ever so slightly and then very carefully put this little chain back inside and then close it up. So that one is a super easy fix, okay? I don't. I wouldn't call paparazzi about that one. Now this other piece right here, the necklace itself is gorgeous. It is set, but look, the earring came off. Now if I got it and the earring was missing, you can't sell it like this, okay? So that is when you call paparazzi if you cannot find the earring anywhere. But guess what? I found this little bitty square in the packaging. And upon inspection, this is usually the problem that we have with the jewelry, the little bitty fixes that we have to do. This little loop right here just is open just a little bit too much and so it just popped off. So what I would do is I just put this back on there, slide it back on with my pliers and then pinch it close and it is good as new, okay? So another quick fix right there. So those are two pieces that are very easy to fix. Now, for example, if I had this pair of earrings, which this pair of earrings is perfect, but if I'd received this and like the black gemstone had popped out, that's a problem. That's something that I need to call paparazzi about. Or if the gemstone was missing, or maybe there's some rhinestones around the edge and some of the rhinestones are missing, something you gotta call on. Also, the wrap and snap bracelets. Check the snaps because sometimes one of the snaps just didn't get closed all the way and it's gone or it won't work. Okay, so that's a couple things you need to check. So if the gemstone is missing or whatever, call paparazzi. If it's out of there, that's something you can call in on. Okay, now here's a question I get a lot. What happens if you're past the three-day window? Okay, how would you fix this? So if you find the gemstone, you need to get a product called E6000. You can get it at pretty much any craft store. It's back in like the jewelry section because that is what jewelers use to attach um, fittings to like pearls and different things like that. That's how they get them to stay. So you get E6000, the clear version, and you'd put a little blob behind there and then just set the stone in there, kind of press on it a little bit and then let it dry nice and flat. And then they're good as new. Okay, so there's your trick. Number one, you need your jewelry fix-it kit, and number two, E6000, okay? Just in the, in the jeweler section of like Walmart, you can find it at the craft store. I found it in a lot of different places. It's a bigger tube like this, or they have little bitty tubes, okay? It is better than super glue. I will tell you that right now. Don't try super glue. It does not adhere stones and things like that to metal. It just doesn't, so E6000, okay? Thanks for watching you guys. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.